Oh, oh this is quite good. Guys, I'm gonna go into food coma. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought I would do something fun today. I just want to do a fun challenge. Well, we shall see if it's fun. I am going to do the A to Z food challenge where I eat food in alphabetical order for the next 24 hours. I have actually done this challenge before a couple years ago and I failed <laughs> because apparently I don't know the alphabet and I missed W. So let's hope I don't do that again this time. But the reason why I want to do it this time is because now I'm in London and I feel like there's so much more choice when it comes to food that like I should be able to nail this challenge easy and I'm definitely gonna be relying on my Google Pixel 7 to help me out with this challenge thank you so much to Google Pixel for partnering with me I am currently at Lidl's I'm thinking fruit apples banana okay this might be a little bit harder than I thought 24 hours on the clock let's go now that I realize it's 24 hours I'm starting to think, am I going to be able to get it done in time? Also, it's a Saturday, which means there's going to be lots of people around. So my social awkwardness is going to be in full form, baby. Oh, it's going to be a fun 24 hours. Probably going to be sick, anxious, and stressed. The vibes are immaculate. Okay, let's go get some fruit. Start off strong with apple for A. Get those vitamins in. And then B for banana. But for some reason, all the bananas were green. That's not something that I was expecting. This is literally the best option I can find, the one that I can eat straight away. Now for C. All I can think of is carrot. But then I got distracted by the bakery section, and next thing you know, a chocolate croissant and donut just magically appeared in my basket. Honestly, it would have been rude not to. I made it to A and B, and then I got myself a, which is breakfast food to be fair, croissant or croissant, croissant, I don't know, and a donut. Ooh. I feel like this gives me like poisonous apple vibes now. Am I gonna take the bite of the poisonous apple? Solid apple. I actually can't remember the last time I ate apple, which is really bad. All right, next we come on to the banana. This was the only non-green one I can find, and even then it's a bit green. You meant to open bananas from this end. I keep forgetting that. I also can't remember the last time I ate a banana, to be honest with you. Mmm, that's a good banana. I made a good choice. I think I'm gonna get full so quick. We haven't even got to lunch yet. Next is a croissant. Oh, that smells so good. Oh. Got like a chocolate gooey filling. <gasps> so nice. I have got croissant all over my car. I'm gonna get a really messy car by the end of this. Maybe I'll eat outside. Let me just eat it like this. There are definitely people looking at me like I'm a weirdo. I'm getting full, guys. This is not good. D, we got a donut. I mostly got this because it looked really cool. Let's try it. Mmm. This is a solid donut. Little isn't even known for his bakery, but I would say the bakery in Little is better than Greg's. Well, I said it. There's an orange center, which I don't mind. It's a bit unexpected. I think I prefer it plain. Hey, okay, now on to E. What are we gonna have to eat, guys? E is edamames. This is really embarrassing to admit, but I didn't realize for the longest time that the way you eat edamame is you take the beans out and you eat it like that. I used to eat this part. I used to eat the whole thing. But when you just eat the beans, they're actually pretty nice. But well, I didn't know what I was going to get, but then I came across this beauty. It's a falafel food store. And it looked pretty decent, to be fair. I was really excited to try this one. It was like perfect for lunchtime. It kind of worked out really well. Hi, can I get the falafel with um, chili potato, please? Thank you so much. Thank you. I kind of panicked and I went for the falafel and chili potato option, but it's mainly falafel, so I definitely think this counts for F. It's literally got falafel written all over it. This looks like exactly what I need right now. I'm gonna take a big bite. Oh, that's really good. I didn't realize falafel was green, but it's falafel, I think that's peppers. There's a bit of potato in the back, but honestly, 10 out of 10 for this one. Right, we've done F. Now, E, A, B, C, D, E, F. G. Wow, I really don't know my alphabets. Okay, it's time to get serious. If I'm to get all the alphabets in time for this challenge, then I need to go to a supermarket and try to find as many letters as possible. I try my best to make things work in alphabetical order, but let's see how I did. I think I timed this one pretty well because for G, I have got garlic bread, and for H, I've got hummus. Yeah! And these two work so well together. Mmm. They're good. Guys, I'm gonna go into a food coma, I just know it. Got some hummus. Mmm. That's a great combo. 
And then for I, I ended up not getting an ice cream, but getting an ice lolly. And my favorite ice lolly is a calypso. Mmm. Ooh, so much sugar. And J is jelly. Mmm. I should have a green one, because then it would remind me of Flubber. It's a Robin Williams movie called Flubber. It's a really good movie. That's basically my childhood right there. Robin Williams was my childhood. All right, so I have the next 10 letters in front of me, and they are the most random things. I feel like they're going to be quite rank. And that's the end of that sentence. I just think they're going to be rank. I reckon we got to just like bash them out. Just go bish bash bosh. Get through them and don't think. Okay, we got kimchi, which I bloody love, so. Mmm. Oh. That is some good kimchi right there. Damn, this is good. I love kimchi, me. Okay, great start. Next, L for lemon. How do I even do this without getting everywhere? Oh, oh that's actually quite good. Ooh, kimchi with lemon. Now we're getting experimental. We're mixing it. Kimchi with lemon. That's a lot of lemon. Oh god. Oh, my taste buds are on fire right now. Right, I'm so good. <laughs> K L M. Oh, okay. We have miso soup with some tofu. M. We got miso. Next we have <laughs> nuts. Damn, that was so successful. For N, we have nuts. Nice. N, nuts, sorted. Next one is O. O is literally O. Next is O for olives. I don't like olives. I can't believe this is one of Grace's favorite foods. She lives for this stuff. But who thinks to themselves, you know what I could really murder right now? An olive. Grace. Grace is the answer to that question, but I do not understand. P. Okay, now we can go back to the fern stuff. Okay, for P, I never knew the name of this, but I think it's called a palmier. Palmier? Palmier? I don't know. The label said something like that. Oh, my, I, I, all I can taste is olive now. So it's going to ruin the t flavor of this. Right, let's try it. Mmm. This for tea would be an elite combo. Now we come on to dinner and I've tried, i tried to really think this through. For Q, we have quinoa, which I love quinoa, but it's not something you can have on its own. So I tried to find something that can go with it. And the only thing that I could think of was ramen for R. So I'm thinking because this is quite a soupy one, have the quinoa first, but then put a bit of the quinoa in the soup of the ramen. The next for S I have is um, soy sauce. So I'm gonna put a bit of soy sauce in the ramen too. And then that's basically QRS. And then for tea, we got ourselves a tango. QRST is quite hard. Here's a challenge for you. Everyone in the comments, put QRST down and like a meal that you'd come up with with those letters. And I bet you they'd all be so much better than what I came up with. Like I feel like S could have been a like spaghetti. That's quite good. But then what are you gonna have with the spaghetti? Ragu. Oh my gosh. My brain went straight to ramen. What's a girl to do? Why don't you come up with your own alphabetical list? Actually don't, because then it'll make me realize how bad I did. But do it anyways, because I want to see what you guys come up with based on what you guys would enjoy. Then I quickly prepared the quinoa, ramen, added in the soy sauce, ready to eat. So first we have a bowl of quinoa, but it's just on its own, so it's not going to taste great. It's just quinoa. Yep, just as I thought. Tastes so grainy. So I had the ramen and I put some soy sauce in it. So that's R and S in one baby one after the other. Right, let's try this. That is incredible. I'm gonna put some quinoa in the soupy pot because then that'll give it flavor. Mmm, that's nice. And then the final thing for today, because I'm gonna carry on the rest of the challenge tomorrow, U-V-W-Y-X, because they're the hard letters. I feel like I need to go more central for those things to find more exotic food that goes with those letters. I mean, I'm kind of risking it, right? Because I only got 25 hours and I feel like I'm leaving the hardest thing to the end. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to find a UVYX round here. I shall end it on a T. Because huh, that's me! Oh! <gasps> oh, I like it. I really like it. I think the reason I like it is because it reminds me of the Tango Ice Blast, you know, the ones that you get at the cinema. And I really like a Tango Ice Blast. Bon appetit! I shall see you guys in the morning.
Okay, here's the next day, and guess who forgot to charge their phone last night? I completely forgot, but it's currently on 73%, which actually isn't bad considering I used it all day yesterday. One thing that's really good about the Pixel is that it has adaptive battery, which means that the battery lasts over 24 hours, even when you're using 5G. I think because the battery is so good on this phone, I forget to charge it as much, because I don't have to. Today I'm doing UVWYX, which is all the hard ones. Google, can you name food starting with the letter Z? According to Food with Feeling, Zeppole is an Italian fried pastry. The fried dough is usually topped with powdered sugar and may have a filling. Okay, we need to find some Zeppole. We've only got a few hours left of the challenge, so let's go. <laughs> and for day two, I ventured a bit further afield. For the rest of the letters, I have come to Chinatown. Because I'm thinking for you, V, W, Y, X. Well, I don't know my alphabet at all. I feel like this is my best shot. If I'm going to get these letters, I need to come to Chinatown. So now we're gonna go eat. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so for you, I'm gonna get ube, which is in Mamasan. Dirty ice cream. World's first Filipino ice cream parlor. Wow, it looks really cool inside. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the ube flavor. Thank you. Well, there it is. For you, I got ube. I'm, I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it, though. Like, just, it could be ube. <laughs> Cheers. <All right>. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so sweet. Mmm, <laughs> it's nice though. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. I swear I you say that all no, the time. No, no, you say that all the time. Honestly, if we didn't have this, what else would we have got for you? I don't think there was anything else. Udon! Udon! <laughs> so this is V. Vietnamese spring roll. It's got lettuce, vermicelli noodles, tofu. You dip it in. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Mmm. It's got vermicelli noodles in it as well, so that's a double B. Peanut butter sauce is really good. So now I'm gonna get W because I forgot that last time. I've done this challenge before and I forgot W. I, I, I don't know my alphabet. So I headed to Sainsbury's in Hunt for Watermelon. And to kill two birds with one stone, I'm gonna get yogurt for Y. <gasps> I see watermelon. All right, W is for watermelon. I am in the heart of Chidertown. Wow. What a voice. <laughs> w, watermelon. I realize in the grand scheme of things how random it is that I'm just eating a tub of watermelon in the middle of Chinatown and I'm like filming myself. But for some reason there's a pigeon. There's a pigeon. Oh my god, there's a pigeon. Oh my god. There's a pigeon. Oh my god. my god. But there was no time to get distracted by pigeons. With little time left, I headed to find pets. Black truffle vegetarian show. I don't know how to say that, but here we go. We got our X. Nice. Okay, so for X, how do you pronounce it, Jay? Xiao Xiao Lung Pao Xiao Ling Pao. Is that bad? <laughs> it looked so good. Being the uncultured swine I am, Jay taught me how you traditionally eat these dumplings. Put it on your spoon. Okay. Pop like a, a hole, hole. Like a little hole, and drink the soup. And after all of that, she still uses her hands. Shake my head. I really like that. And the soup filling was so good and wholesome. This is the most interesting yogurt packaging. It's like glass. Oh, it's Taz proof. This is a fancy yogurt. This is natural yogurt with raspberries, and it's gut friendly. Ooh, we love being gut friendly. Oh, I gotta mix it. Why is yogurt? Mmm, love it. Oh, I don't know what it is about dairy stuff, man. For Z, I've come all the way to Battersea because according to Google, I can get Zipole, which is an Italian dessert. All right, let's go get it. Hi, do you sell this Zipole here? Yeah. No, sorry. Oh, you don't? No, we do it just uh, during the Easter time. Because oh. for Italians, it's like an Easter cake. Oh, okay. So that was a giant fail. I've come all the way to Battersea because this was one of the places where they said they do it. But apparently, it's a dessert that they only do around Easter time. So they currently don't do it at the moment. Oh, no. I'm cutting it really tight now, and I don't know if I'm going to find Zed. I really didn't want to fail this challenge again, especially on the last letter when I made it this far. But finding the letter Z was proving to be a lot harder than I thought. This was not looking good. And finally for Zed, we have brrr, zucchini. 
In the UK, we call these courgettes, but in America, they call it zucchini. And I feel like that should still count. Finding Z food in London is like impossible. I went everywhere to find Z food and like no one does Z food. <sighs> we got zucchini. Can you eat this raw? I don't actually know, but the finale that we have all been waiting for. Yum. Oh, I don't know if you can eat this raw or not. And that's it. I have completed the challenge. And this time I did it all. I did all the letters. Even the W. If you want, you can write your own list of A to Z food and specifically what you'd have for Z. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you lots. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I die. Like I'm last week night with the flow here.